Hey guys, welcome to the 16th video of the playlist How to use SOLIDWORKS for beginners For those who are new to the channel, the link of the playlist is given in the description box below or you can simply click on the i button which is present on the right top corner of your screen In the previous video, we have already understood the extruded boss base feature and in this video, we are now going to understand the extruded cut feature Okay. Now the function of extruded cut and extruded boss base is uh, much more similar but in an opposite way. You will understand it how. So for explaining you all the extruded cut, I have already made a 3D model which is in the shape of an E. Okay. Now guys suppose if I want to make a hole in this middle block. Can you see this middle block? See here I want to make a hole in this particular block. So as we all know that when we wanted to use the extruded boss base command, we first have to draw the sketch. Okay. Similarly, when you use the extruded cut command, here also you have to draw the sketch. Now when do we use the extruded cut command? When we want to cut a particular shape. Okay. So first of all, you have to draw the sketch of that particular shape and then you can make use of the extruded cut command. So I want to make a hole in this, so I will select this plane and now I will click on sketch. Now once this is done, uh, can you see that this plane is tilted, I want to make it perpendicular to the line of vision. So for that I will press control 8, okay. Now you can start sketch. Now suppose if I draw a circle here, okay, I draw a circle. Now guys, you might be thinking that this circle is getting drawn on the topmost surface of the E model. But actually this sketch, can you see, it is getting drawn on this. Why? Because we have selected this plane, so the sketch has to get drawn over here only. Okay. Now suppose if I finish drawing the circle, I am not going to give any dimensions to it. I just randomly draw on a circle. Once I finish drawing, I will uh, click on done so that my sketch gets completed. Okay, so can you see in your feature manager, you can see the sketch 3 present. This sketch 3 is nothing but the sketch of the circle. Now you have to select this sketch 3, it is already selected in this case. And then you have to now click on extruded cut. Okay, now this yellow color means how which this yellow color tells us how much portion is going to get cut. Okay, now. Here it is asking you, from where do you want to start to cut? So the, we have selected the sketch plane. There are different options available, but we have selected sketch plane. Now what is the meaning of the sketch plane? Sketch plane is nothing but the plane in which we have drawn. So we have drawn in this plane. Therefore, uh, when you select the sketch plane, what happens is that the cut is going to start from this plane itself. Are you clear? Now if you select the surface plane, now if you select the surface plane, what happens is that it will ask you from which particular surface or plane do you want to start to cut. Suppose if I select this plane, so what will happen? The cut is now going to start from this plane. Can you see? It is starting from this plane. Okay. Again, there is one more option available. Vertex. If I select vertex. Okay. Now it is asking that from which vertex do you want to start your cut. Suppose if I select any of this vertex. So can you see that now your cut is going to start from this plane. Why it is starting from this plane? Because the vertex you have selected is present in this plane. Therefore your sketch is going to, uh, therefore your uh, cut is going to start from this particular plane. Now afterwards there is one more option. You are, they, it is, they are asking you for an offset. Okay. So if I select offset. Then they will ask us, uh, how much offset do you want? Okay. So if I mention an offset of 10 mm, let's say. So can you see that our original sketch plane is this one. Okay. We have drawn a sketch in this plane. But instead of starting the cut from this particular plane, our cut is going to start 10 mm upwards. Okay. The distance from this plane to this plane is 10 mm. Okay, there is a distance of 10 mm. So the cut is going to start 10 mm away from the plane in which you have drawn your sketch. Okay, 
now it will again ask you to change the direction if you want okay so now if you change the direction now the extruded cut is going to start 10 mm downwards from the plane in which you have already sketched it is as simple as that now once you have understood this from command then i will now again come back to our sketch plane okay now once this is done now th there are again options available so here if you select blind now if you select blind then can you see that your uh, cut is going to get uh, ex in uh, extruded cut is going to go in a particular single direction only okay so if i select blind and now it is asking me how much do i want to cut suppose if i mention 30 see now the extrude cut portion is getting decreased if i decrease more if i make it 10 see again the portion that is going to get cut will be up till this yellow color surface yellow color la circle which you can see okay so this blind option gives uh, you a feasibility to measure to give the uh, the measurement how much do you want to cut okay now if you want to cut on the upper side, although there is nothing present on the upper side, there is a blank space here. But if you select the upper side, see, now your cut is going to go in an upwards direction. So uh, you can give another dimension. If I make it 50, see, this much portion, 50 mm portion is going to get cut. Okay. Once this is done, now there is one more option available uh, but let me first make it default there is blind let me change the direction okay now there is one more option available okay, let me make it 10 so that it will be easier for you to explain so there is one more option available that is nothing but through all now once i select through all see what happens see in the downward direction until your last plane of the model comes till then the model is going to get cut so in the downward direction if you see this one is your last plane okay this one is your last plane therefore up till this last plane whichever whatever things of the model come in between the path are going to get cut are you clear with this okay now there is one more option available through all both now what happens if you select through all both see if you select through all both then in both the directions, <coughs> sorry guys, my bad. In the both the directions, till the last plane of the model occurs, everything is going to get cut. So in the upward direction, this is the last plane of the model. Therefore, up till this plane, uh, everything is going to get cut. And in the downward direction, this is the last plane. Therefore, your extruded cut is going to get extended up till this last plane. Are you clear with this? Now, after this, uh, let me make it again blind and let me make it uh, direction I want to close this direction okay now after this I have one more option up to next now if I select up to next see what happens see this is the first plane that we can see and after this plane we the second plane that we can see is nothing but this particular plane so the next plane up to which the sketch is going to intersect with up to that plane everything is going to get cut okay so when it moves downwards what happens guys this was our first plane in which we have sketched and after this first plane the next plane that we see in while moving in the downward direction is nothing but this particular plane so up to this plane you are going to get execute the extruded cut okay it is as simple as that now if i select up to vertex now if i select this up to vertex now they will ask me the option up to which vertex do you want if i select this particular vertex see then see this vertex lies in this particular plane okay therefore up till this plane everything is going to get cut okay now again there is an option up to surface up to which surface do you want to cut okay suppose if i select this surface see then up till the bottom surface everything is going to get cut i hope you all know that yellow color represents the portion that is going to get cut okay whatever comes in the path of this yellow color region is going to get cut 
okay now if uh, after this uh, they are asking offset from surface okay now suppose if you want an offset before that let me delete this face okay, okay. now it is asking us uh, we have selected offset from a surface okay so for that it will first ask from which surface do you want to make an offset so if i select this sur particular surface then it is asking the us uh, what is the measurement of an offset we have entered 10 here, but if I make it 20, then you will observe that the cellular region will now shift to a, upwards. Why? Because it will go more away from this pink color surface. Earlier it, it is at a distance of 10 mm, but once I make it 20, the distance has now increased. Therefore, it will move upwards. See, I have entered 20 here and I will hit enter. See, can you see? It has now moved upwards. Okay. Now, after this, it is asking us for a reverse offset. Now, if I select this reverse offset, then can you see that now the offset is present upwards, in an upwards direction of the plane. But if I reverse the offset, then this uh, yellow color surface will now come below this pink color surface in a downward direction. See, see, now it has come below this pink color surface. Now, it has changed its direction basically. Okay. Now, after this is done, there is one more command available up to body now it is asking us up to which body do you want to cut now if you see guys this is completely a single body so if you select this particular thing what is happening it is going to get uh, cut up till here why because this completely is nothing but a single body so if you select this body then the first intersection that takes place up till that surface everything is going to get cut if, if there was some other body present then you would have selected that particular body and then up till that particular model or you can say up till that particular body everything would have got cut okay now it is asking for a mid plane now what is a mid plane see the scale we have sketched on this particular plane so this particular plane is always going to lie in the middle region see the extruded cut is equal on both the sides, on the upper side as well as the lower slide of this particular plane. Clear with this and it is at a distance of 20 mm. Clear. Now it is asking us, uh, wait, let me first make it blind. It is asking us that whether you want to make a draft. Okay. Then how much degree draft do you want to make? If I want to make 3 degree draft. See. Can you see? If I make 3 degree draft. And if you observe carefully, this upper cross section is going to make a draft, somewhat draft, an angle. Therefore, you can see that the upper cross section is greater than the lower cross section. You cannot observe here. So, let me make the uh, angle more. If I make it 8C. Can you see? Now, the draft is going to have somewhat a cone-like of a shape. Okay? Clear? Now... But let me show you all how a draft will actually look like. See? see, can you see? A draft is having a kind of a cone, okay, which is tapering at the bottom. There is a cone that is tapering at the bottom. Let me press Ctrl Z. Okay, so I select Sketch. I'll click on Extruded Cut. Now, after the draft thing is done, now we are, it is asking that whether you want to in the other direction as well. So if I choose the other direction, see, now it will uh, ask the same commands, blind, through all, up to next, which I have already done. Okay. Now again, there is a draft present. Now if I don't want in the upward direction as well, so therefore I will deselect this. Now it is asking whether you want a thin feature. Now if I select a thin feature, can you see, the extruded cut is showing uh, a particular outer surface as well. See. There is a thin feature of 10 mm. If I decrease this thin feature to 4 mm, see, can you see? Now, let me show you how this thing will look actually. Okay. See. Can you see? This is how your thin feature is going to look. Are you clear? Let me press Ctrl Z. Sketch. Then extruded cut feature. Okay, done. Now, after this, it is, it is nothing but simple. Uh, you have selected contours. Here, we have selected sketch 3. You can, if you want, you can select other sketches as well simultaneously. Okay. But 
at the as you are beginning of your career in solidworks you just focus on one sketch at a time okay so guys i hope that you have liked this video and if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out the playlist of solidworks it might be helpful for you all okay and guys thank you for watching this video see you in the next video